They've been Chiefs game day traditions for decades, but tonight the team says they're taking another look at some of the crowd favorites. It starts with headdresses. They are no longer allowed inside of Arrowhead. Neither is offensive face paint. The ban comes following six years of conversations between the Chiefs and local Native American leaders. KCTV5's Emily Rittman explains. According to a statement from the Chiefs, headdresses are prohibited effective immediately. When fans reach security, they will be asked to remove any American Indian themed face paint prior to entering the stadium. The Chiefs say for several years they've discouraged fans from wearing headdresses. Now they are banned. Cody Hall says many people have pushed for that change for a long time. What I find offensive is when people, non-native people dress up like us for our cultural way. We have earned those feathers. He says wearing what fans often refer to as a headdress is similar to someone wearing military honors or medals that they did not earn. Stop, you're not, you're not honoring us. And if the chiefs or if fans feel as if that's a form of honoring, it's not. It's just a blatant slap in the face. Hall and Kickapoo Tribal Chairman Lester Randall agree the new bands are an important first step, but say there is still room for improvement. The painful history of Native Americans in this country is something that cannot be erased or forgotten. By enacting this ban, Kansas City Chiefs show respect to our people and and create trust where historically it has not existed before. The chief statement went on to say they are, quote, exploring all options for a modified engagement moment from the drum deck. And the organization is engaged in a, quote, thorough review process of the Arrowhead chop and plan to have additional discussions in the future, end quote. And I commend them, don't get me wrong, I commend them for what they have said, but end it now. As a member of just one of more than 570 federally recognized tribes, Hall says he cannot speak for others, but he has shared his feelings about the Tomahawk Chop with members of the Chiefs organization. I speak solely for myself. The, the name Chiefs and the Arrowhead Stadium, I do not find offensive, but they just need to rid of the whole Tomahawk Chop. KCTV5 has interviewed fans about what's called the Chop for years. It's a symbol of Chiefs pride. And so I don't see it as a bad thing. I've always said end it now. People we spoke to who oppose the tomahawk chop say they hope a new chant can be created to keep Arrowhead Stadium as loud as it's always been. Reporting from Kansas City, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News.